we looked in, in uh, mi mice that, that develop Lynn syndrome, and we wanted to test the vaccine uh, sort of concept. Um, so there are a lot of details. If you can think of for a cancer prevention vaccine, if there are a hundred, you know, <laughs> things that have to go right like to make it work, you have to kind of work out the kinks, and you have to try this out. And so you want to use animals uh, before you use people um, to make sure that these things are safe and that they're effective. So what was kind of interesting about our study, I think, is that it's relative simplicity. So um, a key concept I, that I haven't sort of yet introduced, though, is important to the idea of vaccines, is that the mutation rates in Lynch syndrome are so high that you develop precisely the same mutations that occur actually across multiple tumors. So for example, in, in Lynch syndrome colorectal cancers, the TGF beta type 2 receptor is a gene, and the same mutation has actually a one base pair deletion in the same spot uh, that creates actually a, a new amino acid, so-called frame trip peptide, and these are in 60 to 80 percent of all the, the cancers uh, in Lynch syndrome, actually. It's interesting. So, uh, and we did a genomic analysis, and there are more than 200 of these. Um, you also take into account the immune background of an individual, and so we did that as well, and so we envisioned a system where we would have a library, actually, of peptides, and uh, we would then have to do some preliminary analysis of a person's immune background, and then we would take from this library probably something like five different uh, peptides, which are these little proteins that express the mutated forms of the, the genes that are frequently mutated in Lynch syndrome, mix it with specific what are called adjuvants that stimulate the immune system in ways that cause T cells in particular to attack, and then we would uh, use that. We showed that a relatively simple system, actually, and simple also means probably less expensive, um, was very effective, and so was able really to have complete cures uh, of mice, with the caveat that it is they are, you know, not not people. Um, so the the next steps are we want to we're still kind of working on some of the details uh, to be able to uh, really identify. Um, the optimal system. Do we want to use uh, peptides? Do we want to use a viral vector? Which adjuvant do we want to use? These things like this. How many injections do we want to use? And then with this, uh, we'll then go into our first in man study where we'll look at safety and at the same time we'll look to see whether an individual's immune system is activated uh, against the, um, these mutations.